Hey, Spenthusias. I'm so glad you're here. That means you probably didn't absolutely hate my last review video that I did. And you're probably excited because I have this awesome new unboxing video that I need to share with you guys because this is amazing. But as you may know, or maybe you don't know, you're just now finding out, we are sponsored by Band Shop this year. And one of the parts of our sponsorship is costuming. So I just received our costumes, which is what this huge pile in front of me is. And I'm very excited to be able to share this with you because I know a lot of guards, they don't get to have that like custom uniform experience. And we've only ever gotten to do it one season ourselves several years ago. So having a totally custom experience and being able to like walk through all of the steps of that customization and getting the uniforms at the end is incredible. So when I first opened the box, there was a slip of paper that I pulled out. It was sitting right on top and it actually has all of my students' names on it and what uh, size of each piece because the costumes this year are in two pieces. Um, the pants version of the costume is actually, I think in three pieces. There's multiple pieces with each. And so because like the top part and the bottom part might be a slightly different size, like somebody who's large on top might be small on bottom, who knows? They actually set it up so that we have multiple different pieces that are different sizes and they put everybody's names on this. So I don't have any question of like, okay, who's G21? I can look and I can be like, oh, this is Emma's costume. Like I know this. So let's tear into one of these. As you notice, there's three different colors and the fabric that they're made out of is Lycra. So there's this color, which is just the regular brown Lycra. And then there's this light color, which is tan Lycra. And then we also have olive green. So we wanted to go with really earth tone shades for our costumes this year. And that's exactly what we got. Like this is such a nice combination of these colors. This is a male bodysuit that we're starting with and they call it male and female, but whenever I present my costume options to the students, I always pre present it as here's the dress option, here's the pants option. And that is because, you know, I mean, aside from the whole like gender thing, like transgender is its own thing. We have a lot of respect for that. But whenever I'm actually doing costume decisions, we don't want to gender exclude anyone. So even females who just literally are, maybe they're female and they are, you know, they use she, her pronouns and they, they basically are completely as cis female as you get, but then they just don't feel comfortable wearing a dress and they would rather wear pants. That's perfectly fine with us. Uh, or vice versa. If you have a male that really just wants to wear the dress option and just thinks it would look fabulous on him, that's fine too. And if you have trans students, like whatever. So we always do like a dress option and a pants option. And you'll notice we have some girls who wear pants and boys who wear dresses and stuff in the past few years when we have, when we've had costume choice options. Uh, so this is the pants option bodysuit. It is a Lycra and it's a really smooth, Lycra is really smooth material. It's really stretchy. So that's really nice to be sure to flatter and fit every little bit of the uh, performer's body. You don't necessarily want to put this on a performer who's not going to be comfortable wearing something that's like super, super skin tight, but this doesn't have to be super skin tight either. So that's something you can keep in mind too. So, and then the male, the male bodysuit has a snapping crotch. I wasn't sure if it would be a snap or it'd be Velcro or what, um, but it is a snap crotch in the bottom. And that way, uh, if your team doesn't necessarily use dance belts for your men, which I highly do recommend that you do, that's an option that will just kind of help in that area. I'm not personally any sort of expert in the area of dance belts. So if anybody would like to give their input, feel free to do that in the comments. Along with the bodysuit, for the pants version, there are also, see that's the bodysuit, there are also pants. Here's the pants for the male or the pants option. We have these lovely Lycra jazz pants. Again, 
Now a cool thing about the design process is that you can draw sketches of what you're interested in and they will make up like an official sketch for your team and for your design and what you would like to see. And they also have packages of these samples that you can order. You can order like silk samples and you can order costume fabric samples and then actually get samples and be able to see what exactly it is you are what fabrics you're going to be working with. So here's the female slash dress option. Oh my goodness, these are way longer than I was expecting them to be. So we have this nice sleeveless top and you'll notice that at the top there's Velcro because what's going to happen is this is going to fall down and there's actually a whole different dress. I don't know if I should show this. I should show this. I should just go ahead and show it because at the end of the season, you guys are all going to have seen the change anyways. So I'm going to pull both of the Velcros off of the shoulders of the brown part of the dress. And then when the dress falls down, it's a beautiful white silver and there's these straps and you're like, well, wait a minute, how come the pants version, the pants version has to have a change, a color change too. Well, guess what? It does. So this is the men's change option. So while our dress wearers are going to actually do their costume change right in front of everyone by pulling down their shoulders, our pants wearing performers are going to go behind the backdrop and they, they actually have to move the backdrop. So it's like a really perfect time in the show to do that. So they're going to throw this top on top over their bodysuit. So this is called Silver Mystic Jewels. And if you're ever wondering like the difference between like a silver and like a black silver, a silver and a white silver, it just has to do with the background color of the fabric. So you notice this is like a white behind it um, that you can have like a darker version. And I don't remember the name of that color with the darker version, but that is going to have a darker silver color to it when you have that sort of blackish, uh, blackish dark grayish silver color okay now the fold down skirt that comes over the brown matte fabric the the brown matte spandex color is actually called power mesh and it is a mesh fabric so it's completely see-through so if you're ever going to order something with power mesh and you're going to be covering certain parts of your students bodies you want to make sure there's something underneath this Obviously, it's a really cool effect for what we're doing here with the multiple different colored costumes because it's going to give each of the costumes that slight difference even whenever the silver side of the costume is showing versus the earth tone side of the costume. Now, a very important thing you want to make sure you have under every single one of your dress options is shorts. I know that in the dance world, they're kind of moving toward this idea of less modesty and more art with the human body. But I think we really need to keep in mind that we're working with teenagers, we're working with, you know, we might be working with college students, but we're still working with young people who are still figuring out their bodies and they're still figuring out modesty and they're still figuring out so many different things about life. There's no reason to push everybody into this sort of this immodest way of dressing, if especially if not everybody is comfortable with their own bodies in that way. So we have boy shorts to go underneath. They're called boy shorts. And I got them in the same color matte spandex as each of the dress option costumes. So hopefully you guys will take some of this and learn from it. Hopefully you'll actually get to see our big uniform reveal on our vlogs coming up very soon if it hasn't posted already. And honestly, if you want custom uniforms, don't overlook Band Shop. This whole experience has been so convenient, so easy to do with them. They are so nice. For me, I really like to work through email versus, you know, trying to call somebody on the phone constantly. So, you know, they would send us everything we needed in email and we could email them back right away. I have done some other custom items from them. I did our staff jackets through, through them a couple of years ago. And again, another really nice custom order. And I've also done 
some flags and other things with them. And you may have already seen the flag unboxing video where I talked about our experience with getting the in stock flags and some custom flags from Band Shop as well. So if you're thinking about doing custom costumes, I definitely recommend using Band Shop. This whole experience has been great, as I've said before. They have a lot of experience in the world of custom costuming. They have been doing this for a really long time. You know, we've tried doing custom costumes from other companies before that are just getting their feet in the water with it. And it wasn't always a good experience for our team. And I think that's gonna be the most important thing for us is what company is gonna give us the best experience overall, the best product, and just let our students have a really good season with what we've got. They also have a lot of styles to choose from. So if you know you wanna do something custom, but you don't know exactly what you wanna do, or if you have ideas that you wanna bounce off of somebody, they are there to workshop those ideas with you. They can send you lots of templates and other things that they've done in the past that can kind of jog your ideas along too. And just something that will make the whole experience so much better is that that creative experience of Color Guard is that you get to put your own personal style on the costumes too. I hope this has been helpful and informative for anyone who is looking at getting custom uniforms, potentially from Band Shop. And guys, make sure you share this with your friends, share it with your whole team. Color Guard is so much more fun when you get to do it on a team. I really just wanna see somebody wear one of these to prom. I think that would be fantastic. So like you show up and you're just like, oh, look at me, I'm in this like tan dress that's all one solid color and it's whatever. And then you like pull the shoulders down and you're like, bam, silver. <laughs>